Welcome back. First breakfast show of the year. National Oatmeal Nut Waffle Day. Waffles. We're doing waffles today. It's okay. Waffles, you can have them for dessert, too. I mean, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a breakfast, but it just feels like a breakfast show today with these waffles. They're also a little bit on the healthier side, I'm guessing, by the ingredients, considering we're using whole wheat flour, we're using oatmeal, we're using nuts, so, so and honey instead of sugar, so it's a little healthier of a show. People ask sometimes for some healthier stuff, so we found this recipe and we're going to give it a try. Alrighty, so let me show you what I got today uh, for ingredients and let's get started. Breakfast, let's get some breakfast. Best way to start the day. Okay, for our waffles today we need one and a half cups of whole wheat flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, two eggs lightly beaten, two cups of milk, a quarter cup of butter or half a stick melted, two tablespoons of honey, a cup of quick cooking oats, and a cup of nuts. We're using walnuts chopped up. Oh, you also need a waffle iron. Okay, so let's get started today. I'm using my big pitcher here, a uh, measuring bowl pitcher because it has a spout on it, because that's going to make it easier to pour our batter into our waffle iron, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is take a whisk. I got my flour, my whole wheat flour, my baking powder, and my salt. And I'm just going to mix those together dry, my dry ingredients, okay? Just to evenly sift those together. Okay, and next, in a separate bowl, we're going to mix our wet ingredients. I have my two eggs here, so I just want to beat those first before I add the other ingredients here. And to that, the eggs, we're going to add our milk, okay, our melted butter, and our honey. Just gonna mix that all together. Okay, so there's our wet ingredients, and now we're gonna add that to our dry ingredients, to our flour mixture, okay? And just mix that really well and incorporate that so it turns into a nice batter, okay? And once you have that mixed, you're going to add your oats and your nuts. Okay. No, your nuts. <laughs> and you're just going to kind of mix that together just to, again, make this batter a little bit thicker by adding that. Okay. And that's it. There's our batter. We got our waffle iron heating up. Make sure you get some non stick spray because you don't want your waffles to stick. That's for sure. Okay, so now that we have our batter and our irons heating up, we'll be right back to cook up some waffles. Okay, so we're all ready to go. I've never used this waffle iron before. I didn't have one. I didn't go out and buy one. Thankfully, my mom had one, so I just borrowed hers. But I've never used this, or really, I don't think I've ever used any waffle iron before. So. I don't know how long it takes to cook. I don't know how much batter you're supposed to put in, <laughs> but we're going to find out. Okay. There you go. It may spill out the sides. We'll see what happens. 
I guess you're supposed to clip it closed to seal it. Yeah, some is leaking out on the sides. Let me get a paper towel. Be right back. Okay, let's. It's been a few, couple of minutes. Let's see. Unlock it here. Oh yeah, look at those. Look at these gorgeous beauties. Wow. Just make sure that they're cooked. And maybe I'll leave them just a little bit longer, just to make sure that they're cooked all the way through. They seem like they're fine. They're kind of spongy, as you can see, which I guess waffle is supposed to be, but aren't they supposed to be a little crisp on the outside? We'll leave them just a couple of more minutes more, brown them a little bit more, and then we'll be ready to take them out and dress them up. Alrighty? Okay, let's check again. Yeah, these seem a little better, a little bit better. Because they just seem a little bit more, a little, a little firmer rather than so spongy. So they're definitely cooked through. They smell great, let me tell you. Um, I don't know if you... want to make sure they don't keep sticking. Okay, now this makes a ton of batter here. I mean, I'm definitely not cooking all of this today because I'm not going to eat 20 waffles or however many this makes. Okay? So, I'm just going to refrigerate the rest of that batter, make two portions, two and two, and we're going to taste test these as soon as we get back. Dying to try it and see how these are with the whole wheat flour and the, and the oats and the nuts in it. Seemed really interesting today. Okay, be right back. Those should be ready by the time we get back, too. Alrighty, there is our oatmeal nut waffles. Of course, we have to put some maple syrup, some whipped cream. Let's give these a try. Okay, let's see how good they are. Let's hope they're good. I think it should be with the walnuts and everything. It should give it a nice flavor. Yeah, they have bad. For a healthy waffle, it's very nutty. You got that little bit of crunch from the walnuts, which is nice. Really nice flavor. They're not overly sweet, the waffles themselves, so obviously a little maple syrup helps. Could definitely put some ice cream on these if you were doing them as a dessert. You know, because it's got that... It almost tastes like a banana bread without the banana. Like that consistency, because you, you're biting into like walnuts and stuff. The chopped walnuts, so you do get that flavor, and you get that kind of banana bready flavor without the banana bread. Really good. And like I said, a healthier option using the whole wheat flour. I mean, okay, you kill it with the syrup and the whipped cream, but who cares? Save a couple calories here. Put them back over there. That's how it works. All right. Oatmeal nut waffle day, everybody. But hey, make regular waffles if you want. Doesn't have to be oatmeal nut. We just followed it to the letter of the calendar just to see what these were all about. Alrighty, see you tomorrow, everybody.